Hi, this is Andy from woodclinch.com in partnership with uh, Wood and Graphite. I'm here with another unboxing video. This is for the uh, Shenandoah edition, uh, which is the fall release for 2015 from Field Notes. Um, and it actually marks the first edition that I'm getting with as a uh, color subscriber. So uh, this edition, from what I've seen of it so far, is beautiful. And I uh, it finally kind of got me to flip the switch and become a subscriber. So uh, in the interest of time, I have already opened this package, as you can see here, uh, but I have not yet looked inside. So uh, let's, uh, let's dump it out and see what we have. Ooh, look at all these. All right. Oh man. All right, so as you can see here, um, I have two of the uh, Shenandoah packages. Um, I also, because I'm a first time subscriber, I uh, got two regular Kraft Brown um, notebooks. I got a mixed pack and I got a uh, graph. So um, these are good to have around just in case I'm starting a little project or if I want to try to uh, evangelize how awesome field notes are, I can give these out. Um, yeah, so these are super handy. I'm going to put them off to the side. I uh, also have one of the famous field note pencils. Um, not my very favorite pencil in the world, but not a bad pencil either. Um, I love the ferrule and I love the green eraser. Um, and obviously the type on the front here. Um, but pencils are for another show. Uh, and we have a Field Notes Bit Click pen. Um, this is pretty standard, pretty classic. Um, I don't think I need to go into this at all. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, I have, because I'm a subscriber, I got some special leaves. Uh, leaf, bu leaf buttons. That's part of the uh, goodies that they seem to give new uh, new field notes users. Um, so, or new field notes subscribers. All right. So let's open one of these up. Um, so this is the twenty uh, eighth edition of the special colors edition of Field Notes, Shenandoah. It's for fall twenty fifteen. Um, I don't know if you can see right here, but they use the kind of shelter wood, shaved wood as the belly band, uh, which I think looks amazing with it, um, because it's it's for the fall. It's for um, you know, it's it's for trees. Uh, this is all about leaves, um, and the belly band just really helps give it kind of that natural texture that I really love. All right, so. Um, took off the packaging. Looks like it's a it's grid format. Um, I'm gonna remove this belly band and set it aside. Oh man! Oh, hello. I got a thanks for subscribing. Um, oh no, actually an upsell to subscribe, uh, just in case this is something I bought out of the cart. Uh, and a really nifty little uh, field note shapes. Um, kind of fold out. So I'm going to put that aside. All right, there, these are the three colors. Um, these are actually bonded with another paper inside of it. Uh, so each one of these has a bright um, color on the inside, kind of representative of uh, what color these uh, field notes will turn. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> representative of what color the leaves that these field notes are representing will turn uh, come fall. So we have sweet birch, we have chestnut oak, and we have red maple. I'm not going to read the description from the back, but I will uh, let you find those if you would like. Um, I'm going to just read about the process on the inside here. So uh, these are printed by EDOT Communications in Mar Mount Prospect, Illinois. Uh, the color is, uh, the, excuse me, the covers are French paper um, that have been duplex mounted to each other um, by. Um, Platinum converting in Ithaca, Illinois, um, and then printed on the front. So these covers are pretty thick and very, very well duplexed. Um, only by very carefully looking at the inside uh, in the middle of the cover can you see that there are two separate pieces of paper rather than one that has been printed with two different colors. So I think they did an amazing job on this. This is nice and stiff. Um, I think it'll probably wear well, although of course only time will see. Um, the paper is a 60 pound paper. Uh, I believe they're usually, oh no, I'm sorry. It's um, 
70 pound paper. I believe it's usually, no, I'm sorry again. Uh, the innards, Finch paper, opaque, smooth, 60 pound, bright white paper with a one color application of Appalachian Moss. Uh, light green soy based sapphire ink. So uh, it's perfect for, a uh, perfect name for the addition. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than their standard paper is. I've been told it's not super fountain pen friendly, but I um, am really enjoying um, enjoying feeling this. I need to try it out with a pencil, obviously, and see how it feels. Um, but it's still not quite as thick as the Shelter Wood or America the Beautiful or one of those um, much thicker field notes. That's still very, very nice. All right. Um, yeah, this is promising to be a great addition. Um, it seems like people either love it or hate it. I like it because it's a very simple, um, it's a very simple interpretation of the fall leaves changing in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, and I like green. I think it's beautiful. Um, thank you Field Notes for these lovely notebooks and for helping me become a subscriber. Uh, if you want to see more reviews of Field Notes, you can check out the Wood and Graphite YouTube channel uh, or go to my blog, which is woodclinch.com. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.